As a rule, military vehicles are by definition characterized by high cross-country ability. However, the AMEV from the Canadian company, Incas, exceeded all the most daring expectations. Its name stands for Armored Medical Evacuation Vehicle. The all-terrain vehicle can take on board up to 14 passengers or two crew members and six injured passengers. All of them will be provided with the highest level of protection, as the AMEV is based on a multi-purpose armored vehicle. Note the modular platform. It is needed so that the vehicle can be equipped with specific equipment such as thermal imager or night vision system. Canadians developed AMEV specifically for search and rescue operations in the most inaccessible places of the planet. Next in line, we have a tracked all-terrain vehicle Dream Track from the Russian company Taranica. This is a vehicle with a light, rigid body made of a steel frame covered with fiberglass. Thanks to its thermal insulation and heating system, passengers will feel comfortable even if the temperature outside is below minus 40 degrees Celsius. In case of quite aggressive off-road, the manufacturer has provided armoring of the front part and the bottom of the body. Suspension is independent and long travel. The parts that were designed for more mileage of heavy operating conditions. Capacity of six people, maximum speed of 80 miles per hour, overcome the rise is 30 degrees. You are looking at a vehicle that attracts attention at least because of its aggressive appearance. Underneath the brutal shell, however, lies a very appropriate stuffing. Velus 2x2 has four-wheel drive, hydraulic disc brake system, low-pressure wheels as front and rear suspension. The engine power is 6.5 GP, and the speed limit is 25 miles per hour. Not so much, however, Velus is able to climb where any ordinary speed motorcycle will immediately get stuck. This applies to both difficult types of ground and steep uphill slopes. The manufacturer is the Russian motorcycle factory Paxis. In front of you is a vehicle that can easily replace with itself as many as five different units of special equipment. This is a universal all-terrain vehicle track 2 from the Russian company Tinger. Being compact and extremely passable, thanks to a set of Caterpillar tracks, it can replace a snowmobile, an amphibian, an ATV, and even a bogger. That is, it literally moves on any type of surface. The suspension travel of 7 inches allows you to overcome obstacles in the form of stones, fallen trees, and deep ruts. Well, the high power of 26 horsepower makes it possible to still take on such functions as snow removal, work in the garden, or at the dacha. The maximum speed of movement is 15 miles per hour. For comparison, competitors with similar characteristics have indicators of only 9 miles per hour. This vehicle is a new product. It is available for pre-order today, although deliveries are scheduled for the first half of 2022. Once upon a time, its manufacturer, the Israeli company Tomcar, was engaged exclusively in the creation of military equipment and in the characteristics of the TX, it is not difficult to trace it. The all-terrain vehicle is something between an ATV, an SUV, and a pickup truck. Ground clearance is 16 inches, which is the best indicator in this class. The independent suspension with long travel and adjustable hydraulic shock absorbers are responsible for its sturdiness and ability to move on aggressive off-road terrain. The manufacturer of this transport, the Russian company Gertek, 
makes a very bold statement. Their model has such unique technical characteristics that it has practically no competitors in the world market. Lightweight, high speed, ability to float and deliver both people and cargo in off-road conditions are just some of its remarkable features. The MTLBU accommodates up to eight passengers in the cab and up to 10 in the enclosed body. The power of the eight-cylinder engine is 310 horsepower. The speed on the water reaches three miles per hour. This is the kind of equipment that is ideal for geological exploration, oil and gas and logging industries, road construction, fishing and hunting in hard to reach places. The motorized Tugger is another amazing all-terrain vehicle already mentioned today by the Russian company, which deserves our attention. It is driven by a 15-horsepower engine and is capable of carrying up to 1,100 pounds of cargo. Separately, the manufacturer emphasizes the reliability and compactness of the technique. Thanks to a special design, the Tinger Dog can fit even in the luggage compartment of a standard SUV. In other words, this motorized tow vehicle will be an ideal transportation for fishing or hunting trips, especially in places far from public roads. Don't be deterred by the fragile appearance of this model. Snow, rocks, sand, as well as boggy and rugged terrain are no obstacles for it. G2 from the Finnish company. FinCat was originally designed as a snowmobile, but the universal Caterpillar platforms which engineers equipped it with exceeded any expectations. The transport is compact, maneuverable, allows the rider to feel confident and control everything that happens on the road. The engine with a capacity of 74 horsepower allows you to develop a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour. Also, being a two-seater, the all-terrain vehicle weighs only 617 pounds, which makes it easier to transport it from place to place. The next vehicle from our list will amaze not only with its unusual appearance, but also with interesting solutions adopted at the design stage. For example, the body of the Ukrainian all-terrain vehicle Mad Nomad is made of polyester-based composite material. The vehicle also boasts a patented design of the transmission which received a central and wheel reducers. It is impossible not to mention the modularity of the design which allows you to customize the details and characteristics of the all-terrain vehicle for specific tasks or according to the wishes of the customer. Tubeless, ultra-low pressure tires in a cut with a clearance of 22 inches allow it to overcome almost any obstacles. Travel speed on land reaches 31 miles per hour and on water, four miles per hour. It is no coincidence that such vehicles are used by research organizations in the USA, Australia, Canada, and Scandinavian countries. The development of the very first model of this all-terrain vehicle began in 1974. After minor modifications, it is still in demand. BV206 consists of two sections. It uses all four Caterpillar tracks when moving. The optimal distribution of its own weight ensures low ground pressure, and as a consequence, the ability to move on any type of surface, even on water. The vehicle can carry up to 17 people or up to 4,900 pounds of cargo. 
The BV206 can be operated without problems even in extremely low temperatures. The rear section can also be replaced, for example, by a cargo section with a manipulator, which increases the versatility of the model and expands the scope of available tasks. What distinguishes this vehicle from all other vehicles shown today is that with extremely high cross-country capability, it is able to provide the maximum level of cabin stability along with passenger safety and comfort. This is important because the Medevac G3 is a medical all-terrain vehicle designed to save people in the most difficult situations. Look at how confidently the vehicle crosses the wade at a water level of 47 inches. Not a single drop seeps inside. The model is also able to protect against hurricane winds of 233 miles per hour and withstand an impact of 18 tons. An upgraded fire truck. Sometimes a special purpose vehicle gets a very unusual second life. For example, American Dan Rallis is bragging about his fire truck, which he turned into the perfect transportation for parties. The Technique received dispensers for serving carbonated drinks, built-in ice boxes, a field kitchen, and widescreen TVs. In other words, everything you need to enjoy a delicious meal and a game of your favorite sports team with friends. Man Hafen City River Bus. The Hafen City River Bus project has been operating in the German city of Hamburg since 2016. Everyone can take a ride on an amphibious bus that travels both on land and on water. The unusual idea was realized by two craftsmen. The inspiration for the project was a similar bus in Singapore, which one of the developers met during a trip. A man vehicle was chosen as the chassis. The engine from the same brand has six cylinders and 280 horsepower. The interior is no different from the interior of a regular bus, but the cockpit was greatly modified, receiving additional controls and radio equipment. It is interesting that Hafen City River Bus is the first such project in Germany and has received a lot of positive feedback. Only for the first seven months after the launch, 35,000 passengers took a ride on the bus. Evolvo. In front of you is another amphibia car, this time built on the basis of an old Volvo 240. The model was modified by a single person who was engaged in the project as a hobby. The main modifications touched the front part of the car. In order to keep water out of the cabin, the door had to be gotten rid of. You have to get inside through the windows or open roof. Zagra Unimog U423. The advantage of this vehicle is that it can move equally well both on asphalt roads and on railroad tracks. Specialists of the German company Zagro built this locomobile based on the Mercedes-Benz Unimog truck. Its main purpose is maneuvering work on railway tracks with traction force up to 1,000 short tons. A wide range of attachments provides versatility. It allows you to cope with a wide range of tasks. The technique can carry cleaning equipment, place repair, and diagnostic equipment. The speed on the roads reaches 55 miles per hour, so that in most cases, the technique gets to the place of the problem promptly. However, Zagro Unimog U. 423 moves even when the road under the wheels ends. All wheel drive and high ground clearance are responsible for the high cross-country ability. Kamas Arctica 8x8. This vehicle is a complex joint project on which three companies worked at once. 
These are Kamaz itself, as well as two Moscow technical institutes. As a result, the outcome is striking special equipment, suitable for operation in harsh Arctic conditions. There are two variants to choose from, oversized and oversized. The latter is good because it is able to move on public roads. Of course, in addition to the fact that it goes off-road without any problems. The curb weight of the transport is 25 short tons. On board a cargo, weighing up to 15 short tons. In motion, the truck is driven by an inline engine Camaz with an output of 450 horsepower. Among the interesting features, a frame of breakable type, which increases maneuverability, as well as the presence of an autonomous generator, which provides operation at temperatures up to minus 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Our next hero is a Caterpillar all-terrain vehicle, which again is a complete homemade one. The master took a heavy road motorcycle Dnepr as a basis. The frame is welded from the most common metal channel. Details about the technical characteristics were unfortunately not disclosed. However, the video gives an opportunity to admire the aesthetic appearance and maneuverability. mobile bathhouse. As it turns out, a bar is not the craziest thing to place inside a vehicle. The Russian company Grunder is engaged in the production of fences, chimneys, and most importantly, the construction of bathhouses. In order to attract attention to their business, the specialists undertook an unusual project, placed a bathhouse inside the most ordinary bus. The salon was divided into several zones. The first restroom in a traditional design, finished with natural wood, larch. The second zone is a shower room. And finally, the most important, the steam room. It is carefully insulated to keep the heat out. It is finished with another wood, lime. Steam is supplied from the furnace, which is loaded outside the bus. TSK, the Russian plant of self-propelled machines continent in Yekaterinburg has been producing special vehicles designed to operate in the most extreme conditions for not the first year. TSK is a truck put on Caterpillar platforms which turned it into a snowmobile. This means the vehicle boasts an outstanding combination of off-road capability and payload capacity. The weight capacity, according to the manufacturer, is the best in its class. The vehicle is capable of carrying loads weighing up to 22,000 pounds, while the vehicle's own weight is 32,000 pounds. It is noteworthy that the pressure on the ground of this vehicle is even less than that of a human. It is 32 pounds per square inch. Thanks to this, TSK can be called moderately environmentally friendly. It does not damage the ground and vegetation while driving. The first model appeared on the market in 2003 and has undergone many changes since then. It is still in great demand today in the oil and gas, energy, agriculture, and search and rescue sectors. Tundra Buggy. The last transportation for today is an all-terrain bus, which is a hotel on wheels. Today it is actively used for tourist polar bear watching in northeastern Manitoba, Canada. Above is the interior of the most ordinary bus. The open area here is made for easy photographing. Underneath, the chassis from a monster truck, allowing to easily overcome snow, ice, and small obstacles. 
The engine chosen was approximately 463 cubic inch turbo diesel with 260 horsepower. 